Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. I hope you're doing great today. I'm unboxing and gonna do a review of this glary guitar that I just got. Check it out. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just basically an unboxing. I kind of open it up a little bit to just look at it and see uh, how it was. But for the most part, this is a, an unboxing that I haven't done much to. So this here is the glary. This is their strap here, but it has a little gig bag that it comes with. Also with quarter inch lead with a whammy bar, pick and a strap. That is it in the box. All right, let's look at it kind of up close. A couple things that I'm noticing here. It's got some black spots right there. I think what it looks like to me is like somebody had painted another guitar and then they went and picked up this guitar and like their fingers had like some black left on it as they were doing that. The finish, I don't know how this is coming across here or not. You can kind of see right there that it's, it's dull right here and right there. You can kind of see how it's, it's not shiny. It's almost like somebody has this got thrown across the ground or something. <laughs> Cause it, there's also kind of like these streaky marks across here. I'm not, these aren't fingerprints. They're like streaky marks across here. So almost like they took a paintbrush and after it was, the clear coat was put on it, just like went like this with a paintbrush across here. I think that's kind of interesting. The pick guard itself, it's got this plastic um, on it already, which is nice. So I'm gonna peel some of this off here. Interesting, there's a burn looking thing on the pick guard. I just took this off and it looks like there's also some scratches on the on the pick guard. Again, this is nitpicky stuff. It's kind of what you're gonna expect from a guitar that costs less than a guitar pedal <laughs> in a lot of ways. So, I mean, take it with a grain of salt of, of what this is. Really what it's gonna come down to is how does this play? I've seen some reviews of other Glary guitars I've actually got a Glary acoustic guitar that I wasn't super impressed with, um, but it also was like 45 bucks. So there's, you know, again, take it with a grain of salt. Okay, let's look at the kind of some up close here. I'm gonna kind of get on here as close as I can and let you see the hardware and everything before I hook it up. Again, those paint spots right there, that's kind of disappointing. Go up and down the, the neck here. Tuners, actually the headstock, I'm not super uh, disappointed with. Not, not a bad looking headstock. It's kind of a matte finish on everything here. Um, so it's not a gloss or anything like that. These tuners, yeah, they're all right. You may want to restring this guitar, but I'm gonna play it with these strings on here. Um, there's no way this has been set up though um, I'm not sure if I can even get an angle. It's not that bad on here. The, uh, the height of the strings, it's not bad. Uh, this is definitely, I would think, playable. I'm playing through this Fender uh, bass breaker. Right now it's just set on the kind of the Fender-y structure. Let's see what this guy sounds like. <laughs> tell right off the bat there's that buzz not not that huge of a deal but you probably make some adjustments here on the saddle in order to uh to clean that up a bit all right let's just go through Ooh, real stiff real stiff switcher um all right let's see here let's make sure that everything's working well volume knob let's make sure that the, okay up here at the top here we go Volume knob works, seems like that's pretty good. Let's see what the tone is doing. Rolling off the tone, let's go to the middle. Okay, rolling off the tone here. This is working like a normal Strat. Shouldn't have any, yeah, no effect there. All right, let's go through all five positions here up at the top, this is neck pickup. Next position. Middle. Next 
Next. I've got just a hair of reverb on there, uh, but just a hair. It's not not much. Uh, you know what? Actually, staying in tune, fairly decent. Not bad, actually. That's that's in pretty good tune. Let's see. Go to this. I like this kind of the sound here. crunch on it and uh you know what actually let me take this uh this whammy bar put it on there just i don't usually play with the whammy bar but let's let's see what uh what's going on sometimes these cheaper guitars the jacks are not good but this jack seems like it's it's pretty good i'm really pushing down on that to get it to even do Let's put a little bit of gain on this thing. All right, same thing here up at the top. It's not super uh, hard to play. It does have a little bit of, I feel like I'm kind of playing in mud. Uh, almost like if, if I think if I, after a while, this would kind of wear and it'd be a little bit cleaner of a, of a playing. Like it's, it's almost like my sweat is being absorbed by the wood. Maybe it's just a really dry neck, I'm not sure. Thank you. 
Yeah, I think with a little bit of fret work, if you took a steel wool or something and, and went over this for a while, uh, it'd be in pretty good shape. You know, uh, I can tell right now that this nut is uh, not a very good nut, but it actually is doing a pretty good job. It's almost like, it's interesting. It's not set up right. I can tell that the um, that the, this top string is, is too high. The E string, looks like the other ones are, are just fine, but maybe this A string might be a little low. Might be some of that buzzing that we're getting, but um, man, you know, I'm kind of playing hard here. And it's still, go back to the kind of the clean sound. And that's in pretty good tune for. Let me go back again to the higher gain here. I was curious on when it would actually go out of tune. But man, you know what? But that amount of dive bombing, which I never even do, I don't even know how to do it. Uh, that's in pretty good, pretty good tune. I gotta tune it again to make, to actually get it back, but it didn't go like unplayable, unplayable out of tune. There you go. If you have less than $100 to spend, this is a great guitar for the money. So um, anyway, hopefully that was helpful to you and make a decision if you're looking to buy one of these guys or hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, please hit a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you in another video.